All right, let's read about this Casetify stuff. Dbrand is suing Casetify for ripping off its teardown designs. Dbrand's claim, Dbrand claims it caught Casetify using its transparent style designs in its own line of device cases. Dbrand, the device skin company known for trolling brands like Sony and Nintendo, is waging a legal battle of its own. The company's suing rival Casetify over claims it blatantly copied Dbrand's teardown device skins and cases which are made to look like the internals of whatever phone, tablet, or laptop you've purchased from them. It's also introducing some new x-ray skins on the same day it's revealing the lawsuit. I'm not a huge phone case guy, so I don't I don't know these names. Let me look up Dbrand real quick. Let me see their work. Are they they must be pretty big, right? Dbrand's pretty massive and I'm guessing Casetify is like the big boy showing the Dbrand Easter eggs Dbrand hid inside their design that was stolen by Casetify. Oh, so they planted little uh, little landmines. Little gotchas in there. Ooh, that's very interesting then. So they caught him red-handed. It's on Dbrand's Twitter. Okay, let me pull that up then. Dbrand first revealed its teardown products in 2019 in partnership with Jerry Rig Everything, a YouTuber who breaks down new devices and sometimes even gives them transparent mods. The teardown skins and cases make it look as if you've taken your entire device apart and slapped on a transparent backing, when in reality, it's just a vinyl decal or a case you slot your phone into. It's a cool design. I think that's nice. Casetify allegedly took all of this work to use on its own phone cases. It all started when Casetify launched a similar line of phone cases called Inside Parts. Very uninspired. Teardown is a much better name. That is lame as fuck. Inside Parts? They spent two minutes on that. You could have come up with something so much cooler. Maybe like Innards? B uh, bow well, bowels is stupid. That's really dumb. But something better than Inside Parts, for sure. Big thanks to Displate for sponsoring today's video. Displate is one of a kind metal posters that are designed to capture your unique passions. So you can see Matt fanning through a couple of them behind me. They look extraordinary. So they're durable, magnet mounted, sturdy. They can withstand a lifetime of staring. They're super easy to set up and mount and you can customize them, you can collect them, you can rearrange them however you want. They have over a million designs available for everyone, including official designs from brands like some of the ones you're seeing behind me. There's just so many options, and again, you can customize them as well, which is always a lot of fun too. So it's all high quality designs printed onto the metal and hand signed by their master of production. They're unique, easy, and safe, and it only takes about 20 seconds. There's no need to drill anything into your walls. All you need to do is wipe the wall with a cleaning wipe, and then stick the protective leaf, place the magnet, and then put the display on the wall. It's super easy, super quick. So if you're interested in getting some high quality disc plates for your office or any room in your house or anything, you can click the link in the description below. There's right now a Black Friday deal going on. So you can get 35% off one to two disc plates, 39% off three to four disc plates, or 44% off five or more disc plates. You can click the link in the description below for that deal or use code MOIST at Displate's website. Again, huge thanks for sponsoring. Which similarly puts an image of the components inside your phone on the outside. However, Users noticed something wasn't quite right with the designs. In March, one user on X pointed out that Casetify appeared to be reusing the image of the same internals across different phone models, which means they didn't accurately represent the insides of each device they were sold for. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, that... Probably just a coincidence. I'm sure that's easily explainable by Casetify. Piss puddlers unite. Fine Jesus, my friend. What the fuck is a piss puddler? This looks pretty hard to fight. Like, how do you even argue against this? It's just a direct rip of it. Hear me out. Maybe one lazy dev and not the company's intent. Nah, what? No, what? Absolutely not. In a company the size of Casetify, at least giving it the old eyeball test, I'm not familiar with phone case brands, like I said, I'm just learning about them. Casetify seems huge. You can't just have one guy, like, brute force through a design. That has to go through a thousand different pipelines. Dbrand called out Casetify's apparent gaffe in a video posted on Twitter, which shows how Casetify seems to have recycled the same design across Apple, Samsung, Google devices with a mocking caption reading, Inside Parts. Did they also do the Spongebob picture with it? 
like bent over and all of that. Just months after dbrand posted its response to Casetify, the company came back with a new line of transparent style phone cases called Inside Out. This time, the images are consistent with the devices the cases are made for, and dbrand claims that because Casetify stole its designs, oh, and dbrand claims that's because Casetify stole its designs. However, dbrand alleges Casetify also attempted to conceal the copycats by rearranging parts of the design to make them look slightly different, which is what they just showed here, yeah. There's some pretty strong evidence backing up dbrand's accusations. dbrand spotted many easter eggs it planted within its own designs on Casetify's Inside Out products. That includes the RO807 tag, which alludes to dbrand's tagline as a brand run by robots as well as the jerry-rig everything catchphrase, glass is glass and glass breaks. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is- this is checkmate. This is set ma- like, this is over. This is a full-blown scholar's mate. There is absolutely no way of, like, disputing this anymore. It's just right there. There's even more? How many Easter eggs did they plant in here? Very cute. And it turned out to be a great decision. After scrutinizing the images of the cases on Casetify's website and even ordering some to confirm its suspicions, dbrand discovered Casetify allegedly copied 117 different designs down to the many digital manipulations it made to the images. dbrand says it holds registered copyrights for each of these products, all of which were registered before Casetify's launch. If Casetify had simply created their own teardown-esque design from scratch, we wouldn't have anything to take issue with, CEO Adam Iajaz tells The Verge. We're under no illusion that dbrand owns the idea of taking apart phones and scanning them. <clears throat> oh, Jiminy Christmas. The fact of the matter is that they repurposed our existing designs for their products, then went to great lengths to conceal their illegitimate appropriation of our work. That's why instead of issuing a cease and desist order, dbrand is hitting Case Defy with a federal lawsuit in Canadian court, where the company is based, seeking eight figures in damages. It hasn't given Casetify any warning either, so you can see the case in question right now from the company's website and draw your own conclusions. Is there any other conclusion to draw? I can't think of a single argument why they would have replicate or why they would have Easter eggs from dbrand in their work, and it being the exact same design just flipped around. Is it possible to draw another conclusion? Does I'll rephrase. Brain rot on Twitter. Is there such is there a such thing as a case defy enthusiast that is so rotted and blinded that they're defending it? With like an actual argument or no? So this is another one that dbrand posted. Exhibit A, the phrase glass is glass and glass breaks. This is a catchphrase coined by Teardown co-creator Zach Jerry Rig. I'm assuming that's Jerry Rig everything. This tagline does not exist on the internal hardware of any smartphone, yet somehow appears on Case Defy's product. <laughs> they even have it lower resolution, so what must have happened is they just downloaded a JPEG of this and then, like, downloaded it 50 other times while, like, trying to fabricate it, and the compression just got fucked. So they got, like, the lowest quality JPEG of this that they put on their stuff. So there's another Easter egg that happens to be on their work, and another one, Exhibit B. Full montage here. The digits 11, 11, 11, 11, or the digits 11, 11, 11, this is a reference to our founding date, November 11th, 2011. This date does not exist on the ribbon cable of any smartphone, yet somehow appears on Case Defy's products. <laughs> you know, that's, that could be explained easily. Binary, perhaps. This may not correlate to a date. This may just be binary code. I could see a perfectly sound argument for that. Exhibit C is the RO807, which we already looked at. Exhibit D. Man, they have so many. This has got to be the most dead-to-right case I've ever seen. Exhibit D. The all-seeing eye. This is a symbol we often use as evidenced by both the favicon of our website and the dbrand pyramid PC built by Linus Tech. This symbol is not present on the battery of any smartphone, yet somehow appears on Case Defy's product. And again, it's like the lowest quality version of it. Literally looks like a four-year-old scribbled it on. Where, where do they even... This one doesn't even look like they just downloaded and downloaded it and fucked the compression over time. This one looks like they deliberately made it as hieroglyphic-esque as possible. But in that case, why even bother? You could have just not had it on there. Their literal screenshots, they even cropped some incorrectly. But how can you even get a screenshot to look this bad when you're transferring it onto the product? You'd have to really try to make it look this atrocious. 
Exhibit E, 1111 Watt Hours. The 1111 Watt Hours, this again, a reference to our founding date, this erroneous Watt Hour metric is not on the battery of any smartphone, yet somehow appears on Case Defy's product. I mean, you, you, can't e you can't even defend it. They took photos of their monitor. Oh, wait, you might be right. That would explain this one. This one does actually look like they took a photo of their monitor while it's all glossy and shit, so you can't make it out super well. That would explain how they got this. Wonder why they would steal it. Uh, I think the reason would be obvious. It's a successful phone case, it seems. So they just capitalize off it, and then instead of doing any kind of R&D work to make, like, a comparable teardown, they just copy it. It feels like it'd take the same amount of effort. I don't know, man. I don't know what goes into, like, actual phone case making stuff. But this is like a, like an almost billion dollar company, I think, Case Defy, right? Surely this didn't save them too much on the bottom line. Let me see. Oh, 300 million in revenue last year for Case Defy. Massive company. Absolutely massive. They probably didn't know it was patented. Brother, even if it wasn't patented, you still can't just blatantly rip off another company's design. That's like the biggest no-no ever. Like, you can't just infringe on shit like that. You can't patent an image. He meant copyright. I know what he meant. Did you ever stop to think that maybe they just made an oopsie? 117 oopsies from the sound of it. <laughs> so, they, hey, they might just be real quirky. Very clumsy. On their video, they said they spent around 10,000 hours making the cases. If you watch the videos, you can see a time lapse of them dotting the, dotting the cases. In the Jerry Rig Everything video... Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. Like I said, I don't know what all goes into case making, but I, I can't imagine like it's a super easy process. Dbrand and Jerry Rig Everything aren't the only people they stole designs from. There are already others coming out with their own cases. Look at Jerry's Twitter. Oh yeah, I can't imagine this is their first and only time. They just happen to fly a little too close to the sun with the blatant theft and now they're getting caught. Yeah, I have no doubt they probably stole tons and tons of designs.